Mitchell. Doesn't get old, does it? The SpaceX launch last week, uh, the first time that we've seen an all-civilian crew up into space, proper space, far out space, uh, an orbit of uh, around 360 miles uh, above the Earth. When that happened, Ed Ludlow was at a safe distance. He was a couple of miles away, watching what was going on, nice and safe at that distance. He's joined now by a man who was a little closer to the action. Just a little. Yeah, I'm delighted to be joined by Jared Isaacman, the commander of that Inspiration4 mission, and of course also the CEO of Shift4 Payments. Jared, I don't know if you remember, but I asked you 24 hours before launch, why 360 miles? Why take the added risk? Why not play it safer? My question to you now, do you wish you'd gone further? I sure do. <laughs> you, you well, why know, is uh, that? Well, you know, every, people talk about the overview effect, looking back on Earth from, from such an interesting vantage point and, um, and the impact it has on you. And, and it had an impact to me um, because we were a little bit higher. Um, in fact, we went so high, there's probably less than, you know, 25 people, you know, in the world right now who've seen the world from, from that perspective. And what I saw was the space around Earth and, and the moon rise. And all it made me think about is we've got to get out there. We've got to go farther. We've got to satisfy that curiosity we have and, and explore the universe because we know so little about it. And there's probably some answers to questions we've all been thinking about for some time that are out there. We just have to find it. So the other mission here was to raise $200 million for St. Jude. You, you blew past that. But ultimately, you paid for this mission, right? You were the benefactor. How do we move beyond that? How do we move beyond space just being the domain of billionaires? Well, for sure, it's expensive, right? Um, that's why we have to make sure every mission has a profound impact on the world until costs come down to the point where everyone can go and explore among the stars. I mean, this is no different than, you know, Tesla Roadsters, you know, 15 years ago versus Elon announcing $25,000 Teslas uh, just recently or computers in the 1960s or cell phones in the 1980s, like costs will come down. But while they are expensive, we have an obligation to do a lot of good with it. That's why Inspiration4 did set out on this massive fundraising effort for St. Jude. That's why we have a very inspiring crew um, so that we could make a difference while, while we're in such a fortunate position to go to space. SpaceX were talking about how supply constrained they are, right? There's a backlog of willing paying customers, they say. What sense did you get from SpaceX that this type of mission, civilian orbit, will ramp up going into next year? Well, I, what I think is going to happen is um, I think with SpaceX pioneering uh, reusable rocket technology and driving down costs to make space more accessible is that there's going to be more people working in space. So I, I, I think uh, working, exploring, I don't know if you're going to have too many people uh, you know, going on essentially sightseeing chip, uh, trips. Um, but I do think as it costs less and less to put mass in orbit, we're going to be creating infrastructure in space and, and people are going to be working there. During our mission, we had 14 people in orbit at one time. It was the most in history of, of human spaceflight. A year, two years from now, could be 140 and then some. So you guys were having a nice time up there, of course. You had some excellent views, but you were also conducting scientific experiments, other kinds of uh, study on the human body, human physiology, were those tests real? I mean, did they give any real meaningful data to SpaceX or to NASA or anyone else? Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, NASA was listening in on all of our communication loops. You know, there was a NASA WB-57 high altitude research plane filming us as we re-entered. I mean, th this was only the third time uh, a Dragon capsule has re-entered the atmosphere uh, since this program began, since the space shuttle retired, or at least a Crew Dragon. There's still an awful lot to learn. In terms of on-orbit, you know, we were at an altitude subjecting us to a radiation profile that we haven't studied since the Apollo program. I mean, it's way higher than the space station, which is shielded from our atmosphere to some extent. So if we're going to go to the moon and Mars and beyond, we got a lot to learn. I mean, we, we had the equivalent of a chest CT scan uh, on orbit for three days. Well, imagine going to Mars over six month duration and back. That's hundreds of CT scans. That'll kill you if we don't learn how to deal with it. So we were doing all sorts of research and science experiments over those three days. And the, and the data is now with the labs. I'm really looking forward to the results. 
Jared, I have to ask you about cryptocurrencies, given what we're seeing in the market. The first minted digital NFT track up in space. Shift4 Payments has said it's going to invest and partner more actively in cryptocurrencies. Where do you stand on cryptocurrencies uh, as a currency in transactions, things of that nature? Well, we were certainly happy to bring that Kings of Leon NFT up to orbit um, to help raise funds for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So in that respect, I'm 100% a supporter. And I think the blockchain is really interesting. I, I think we are a ways away from crypto being a mainstream form of currency. And I say that as a, you know, the CEO of a payments company that powers about 200 billion a year in commerce. Um, you know, we're, I don't think we're there yet. It's, it's just too volatile. Um, but, you know, we're not ignoring it either. So we are making investments in it to make sure that, you know, consumers are able to do business with um, with our merchants, um, you know, the way they like. And, and that's probably going to be an alternative payment methods like crypto in the future. Jared, in one word, will you go back up into space? It's got to be more than a word, but I would say if it if there's a mission that can have a real meaningful impact on the world, um, then, then I'd be there.